You've got your N8N server running in the cloud, but there's just one problem. You can't use your powerful local GPU with it. And you don't want to spend hundreds or, or thousands a month to get one up in the cloud. What if I told you there's a way to get the best of both worlds? Today, I'm going to show you how to use Tailscale to connect your cloud N8N instance to your local machine's resources. Before we dive in, if you find content like this valuable, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. I'm constantly sharing tips like these to help you get the most out of N8N and automation tools. If you followed along with the previous video, you already have Tailscale set up on your N8N server. I'll make the assumption that you also added the Tailscale client to your local machine. I have it also added to my iPhone and my iPad, which is another great benefit of this setup as you can access your services securely from any device on your Tailnet. Now, if you didn't see that video, you can go to tailscale.com and set up a free account, then run the install. Setting up Tailscale to work with a Docker container like N8N is a little bit more complicated, so I'd recommend checking out the full video to get that going. Now, let me show you how powerful this setup can be. We'll create a quick workflow that demonstrates the seamless connection between your cloud N8N instance and your local GPU. This is perfect for running AI models, processing large data sets, or any task that benefits from GPU acceleration. I'll just add an AI agent. I'll leave the source for the prompt to be the connected chat trigger node. Then come down to chat model and choose Olama. For the credential, create a new credential, and we need to figure out the base URL. So go over to your Tailscale admin page, look at machines, then click on the address for your local machine. Copy the fully qualified one. Then come back to the N8N credential and type HTTP colon slash slash and the address from Tailscale colon 11434. You should now see the connection test successfully. Now choose a model and go back to the canvas. Ask a question and that will be sent to your Olama server on your local GPU. The response time depends on the capabilities of your GPU because you're using your local resources. And the connection is secured thanks to Tailscale's encryption. But you can be very sure that the data is not going anywhere outside of your control. And depending on what you're doing, local models can be just as powerful as any of the popular services. And there you have it. You're now running AI models on your local GPU triggered from your cloud N8N instance. This same approach works for any local or remote resource that you want to access, but you don't want the world to see. Not just AI models, think databases, file systems, or, or any other local service that you want to connect to securely. Maybe you set up a Postgres server on another VPS. You don't have to expose it to the world, just to your own tailnet. Remember, this isn't just about AI. It's about breaking down the barrier between your cloud automation and your local resources, wherever those resources live. The possibilities are endless. You're essentially creating your own private cloud infrastructure, but without the expensive monthly bills. Now, this video is a part of something new I'm trying. I was inspired by another YouTuber who makes short and succinct videos for YouTube and more detailed versions with a bit more explanation available on their Patreon and their YouTube membership. The folks who appreciate the content the most get the full version and everyone else just sees the facts. Now, if you wanna see that more complete version and you wanted to see it up to a week ago, then join the membership here on YouTube or on Patreon. As you build out more and more workflows on your N8N server, you're going to need a way to organize them. So you really should check out this video that shows you how to use folders on N8N. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.